dive into the high-flying world of the Blue Angels with our next guest, LCDR Monica Doc Borza, as the Blue Angels' fourth female physician and flight surgeon. Monica has been at the head of over 560 thrilling flight demonstrations across North America. Her remarkable journey from the beaches of Virginia to the skies with the Navy's elite squadron not only inspired countless individuals, but also highlighted the dedication and precision of naval service. And today she's going to give us some upside, uh, insights on the upcoming documentary, The Blue Angels, and her exceptional performances and experiences. So let's welcome to the show, Dr. Monica Borza. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. All right. So growing up in Virginia Beach, you were surrounded by the sights and the sounds of the Navy jets. How, how did these experiences influence your decision to pursue a career in the Navy and eventually as a flight surgeon for the Blue Angels? Virginia Beach is such a wonderful town to grow up in because of such the heavy Navy population that is there. And so you get to see fighter jets flying over from a young age and have that passion and kind of patriotism just deep down uh, inside that kind of inspires you to, hey, maybe one day I could be in one of those jets. Uh, and so that's what kind of led me to join the military and having a family member in the military prior is my father and seeing his relationships when he was in naval aviation. It is just so special uh, and there's nothing like it. And so I was incredibly, incredibly honored when the Navy decided to pick me as a doctor for them. And then even more honored when they sent me through flight school to be the flight surgeon uh, for a squadron. And then to top that was selected for the Blue Angels. And that is, you know, the elite ultimate squadron in the Navy. And that is something that a lot of people get to aspire to. Um, and some don't make it. However, it is a team effort to get you there. It wasn't just me. And I have to thank all my friends and family and those mentors in the military who came together to help this dream and come true. All right. Being a part of the Blue Angels demands exceptional performance, both in the air and on the ground. Can you share some of the most like challenging moments that you faced while you were with the team? And how did these experience shape your approach to teamwork and the feelings of leadership? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, the most challenging aspect, I would say, of being a part of this team is we are constantly going. So we are on the road 300 days a year and there are no backups. There's no uh, pilot waiting in the wings to take over or doc waiting in the wings to take over. So you have to be ready to go mentally, physically, emotionally, so that you can put your best performance out there. And it takes truly a team effort of full transparency and trust in order for us to be able to perform in the way we do. And I think that is helpful when we are together nonstop. So we really get to know each other very well so that we can fully trust each other uh, and do a safe and precise, powerful demonstration. And this documentary, The Blue Angels, promises viewers a uh, glimpse into squadrons pretty much demanding training and uh, show season. What aspects of your year with The Blue Angels do you think will surprise viewers the most? I think uh, what will surprise viewers the most is they'll get to see uh, aspects where potentially the flights didn't go so well um, and how we handle that, how we risk mitigate is what we say in the Navy, uh, those situations uh, so that we could be better tomorrow, so that we can always strive for excellence uh, the next time we go out there to perform. Um, and another cool thing that you'll get to see that has never been shown before is the physical training aspect that these pilots have to go through at the centrifuge uh, to help them combat these G-forces, up to seven and a half G-forces, without wearing a G-suit. And that's unheard of. No other flight demonstration team or jet unit, per se, does not fly without G-suits. So <laughs> it takes a lot of training, and it's an intense a rigorous um, program that these pilots go through and you'll get to see some of them, you know, potentially struggle a little bit, uh, but I won't give the outcome. So you'll have to watch. Yeah, don't give it all away. Yeah, we got to go. <laughs> <see the document. laughs> yes. Dr. Borza, thanks for joining me this morning. Check out the Blue Angels. It's exclusively in IMAX on May 17th or on Amazon Prime starting May 23rd. Monica, thanks for joining me this morning, my friend. Very nice to meet you. Thank you for having me.